Hello everybody and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays RimWorld. We left off last episode basically doing base improvements. Uh, we tried to make a fancier dining room, um, which is now, was, it was I think it, it, it's lacking extremely expensive, or extremely impressive because it's, um, I, lo I love how Talia is getting stoned while Doug and Anzo are getting married. Anyhow, um, it's a little dirty in here, it needs a little bit of cleaning, but I do have people, I have multiple, well, I have multiple haulers, why don't we swap Talia cleaning and hauling so she cleans more it's a, a clean a clean base is a happy base and i also have um in the works right now replacing everybody's stone flooring in their bedrooms with carpeting because that's a little bit better personally i would i'd like i would prefer you know tiled floors over carpeted floors any day of the week but you know to each their own all right these fields are going that's nice uh we started producing drugs as a as a way to improve the economy of the base, but we do have a healthy amount of silver, and that was after making a solid silver table. Uh, we rebuilt the uh, the kitchen over here. What I thought was very interesting is that, oh, uh, maybe, well, these, these need to get butchered, so mince organs, mince limbs, make, make kibble, make four kibble. Hang on, let's... Oh. An arm and a leg. Uh. Creature. Details. Oh, so that should be all, all animals. Yeah. Um, okay. And then kibble. Human meat, yes. Insect meat, yes. They're, I mean, it should be fine, right? Vegetarian use anything. That's fine. So let's, uh... Let's see what happens. So he's gonna grab this lung and mince it. What is that gonna give me? 25 human meat. I don't think that's worth it. So we're going to do take the uh, organs off. I got mince limbs on there. I don't know if you can mince a limb. Uh, no, like, I don't know if you can remove limbs. I mean, I thought maybe I, I... Harvest, stomach, heart, lungs, kidney, liver, ear, 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 nose, jaw. No, I can't take I can't take those off. So I'm not sure how you would do that. They're definitely running out of that fine meals. We have tons of those, and we have all of these. Oh, these guys need uh, treatment. Oh, you are working on Platypus is on it. That's good. Muscle parasites will go away eventually. Uh, they're a pain in the butt just because, I mean, it makes everybody sit around and do nothing for long periods of time. They only have, like, half work days, and then they just sleep. Forever kibble details. Oh, do until you have. That's fine. Then make butcher creature do forever. Make kibble details. Do until you have. There we go. And let's make sure this kibble is set for human and insect. I don't care if you eat humans. I'm bother me at all. Doesn't bother me at all. So we got a superior wool armchair, superior, superior, all superiors. It's just a little dirty in here. Yeah, chop all that stuff up. I haven't done anything with this. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for someone to name this bear. You know, it'd be better if you guys, you know, finished one and then moved on to the uh, Just rip up the... Okay, Doug's got it, I guess. No, no, finish this one, dude. Alright, how does that help a bedroom? Somewhat impressive. Somewhat impressive. Very impressive. Still got that in there to take out, though. 
I like how the sculpture is more impressive than that golden and silver bed. That's better, though. We're making progress. Every little bit helps with the moods. You know, I, I used to never really have a designated janitor, and I think that's probably why my series used to last for 12 to 15 episodes. Because those, uh, uh, like, new debuffs really stack up, and people get really upset about not having, uh... Uh, you know, have li living in dirty conditions. I'm really pissy about that. So having, with this size, I think having two designated cleaners and like two designated haulers, I think that's probably a good, good situation. Right now it's pretty dirty, but we we're making it. We're trying to make it better. I really needed some good sculptures. I've had trouble cranking those out. Fuck me if I'm not using four or five components per episode just repairing shit. God damn it. See, anything cool to build? So, pod, uh, fueling port for launching one transport pod. Pod launchers can launch as a group, but the launcher must be placed ad ad the launchers must be placed adjacent to each other. So, all launchers need to be connected. Moisture pump. Nearby terrain covered marshes to shallow water, or shallow water to dry ground does not affect deep water. Okay, that's, that's not going to do anything for me. Precious minerals like gold or jade in the nearby areas. Launchable suborbital travel cargo pod capable of carrying people, items, or animals can be used for transport, surprise attacks, or reinforcements in battle. I think we would put the pod launchers. Launchers can launch as a group, but launchers must be placed in... Okay, so the the if for me to launch all pods as a group, they need to be adjacent. Easy. I can, I can work with that. I can make that work. I can make it work. Probably should turn this back on. Uh, do forever. Is it... Is it just Nos... Oh, well, let's see. Nostru... Set to craft. Okay. Making some shells? Yeah, making shells. They only have 46. It's set to 50. That makes sense. Let's grab another... Build a copy of this light. And build another one over there. It's nice and bright in here. There we go. So an area. Fill that out. Uh, floors, smooth out any rough edges. There we go. Eclipse is ending. Very nice. That was beautiful, nicer, uh, somewhat impressive. So excellent is so I think excellent is probably right up below um, masterwork. I can just start cranking out some normal some some beds. Platypus, if you wanna. Do some treatment here. Uh, make some house calls. That'd be cool. There's rice hanging out over here. Why is there rice in here? There's plenty of room in here. Don't know. Maybe the animals hauled it over there. That's probably it. That's probably what happened. A little bit of kibble. That's good. That's funny. Is I I I made this effort to make so many um. Get so many muffalo, then I really don't have. There's not really much option to, or opportunity to go get it, to go do much with it. But I do have this item stash I haven't done yet, uh, and that's neuro trainers, which are amazing. So why don't we? God damn it! Who? Let's form a caravan. Uh, I am gonna take a bunch of the 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 the, the four. Why don't we take? Six full-grown muffalo items. Uh, well, people for starters. Um, Watish, you're a medic. I'm gonna leave Port or not Porthos, but I don't want to take my head uh, doodle artist. Uh, Anzo, you can come. Platypus is the head the head doctor. I don't want him. Um, Talia, you're new. Saber, you stay. Porthos, you come. Quark, you come. Uh, Nostru, stay. Aslan, you come. 
All right, and then items. Uh, take all of the package survivor. Just take them all. I don't know how long I'm gonna be out there, so take all of them. Meds. I think I usually take twenty. Takes a. Why don't you take a bunch of joints with you? Um, probably help with the mood problem. But that should be good. We have people, we have food, we have medicine, and we have joy. And that's a pretty even split. I think that'll be good. We have good defenses. Set everything up. Uh, I'm bringing six buffalo in case there's lots of stuff. Like, I, I, a lot of times, uh, there'll be steel and components and, you know, just stuff that's good but not great that I wish I had with me. Nostra and Raven need... Oh, they're, they're, they, it takes a time to grab 200 meals. And look how fast Aslan. Talia, why, why are you so slow? Or is it because you're, par you're parasites? Yeah. Oh, you got a prosthetic leg too instead of a... That slows you down a little. You don't have bionic, you have prosthetic. Go, my people, go! Charge shot. Cool. A multi cryo subclasket shield belt. I like those shield belts. I'd like to make some. We took some joints with us. We didn't take a ton. Haven't needed them yet, though. That's good. That's a lot of animals. I have so much hay, and almost all of them will eat the hay exclusively. So I don't need large copious amounts of kibble. Alright, so you guys... Are going here. Two days to get there. Not bad at all. What's this? What's that? Uh, fever gang. How many components we got laying around? 17. Why don't we get a... Let's build one... Launcher. Um, so we gotta go... That's miscellaneous. Pod launcher. Now let's build two of them next to each other and see what we're working with on these. So I, need, I know you need to, um, I think you need chem fuel to, 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 as fuel. I think chem fuel is fuel. Smoke leaf binge, that's the first time. Generator broke down. Yeah, Nostru, get over it. So I see the chem fuel, no, no, that's just someone's shirt. That's just a shirt. Doug is playing horseshoes rather than working on these. Used a good amount of that uh, cloth to lay down some carpeting. So, fuel 150, target fuel level 75. So, set the target fuel level. Colonists will attempt to fill it up to the target fuel level. Alright, so they'll fill it up to that level. And then what I do is I build the transport pods like this. Hops, and they'll give me a Persona Core. I don't have any hops. And then I'm assuming there it'll tell you like how much fuel you need to get to a given location. Oh, that was my back cracking. Um, fire Foam Popper. Remember, I, I remember wanting one of these in my freezer, so I'm going to put that in there. So I would, if I could launch people, I'll oh, see the thing is, if I launch six people, they're only going to be able to carry very limited amount of stuff on the way back. Colonist needs to rescue Raven. Oh, you're just fucking tired, aren't you? Oh, you just got stoned. You're fine. Load, uh, let's see, defines the selected transporters... As a launch group, opens the loading dialog so you can decide who and what should be loaded inside. Okay, cool. Oh, so what was too heavy? The grizzly bear was too heavy to, to launch. But everybody else was fine. You used to do 150 kilograms, probably. And the bear was 151. That's what I'm assuming, at least.
The only thing I can assume is that the animals have been going over here to, uh, storage. Let's make sure food doesn't get stored in here. Take that stuff out. So I don't want to tell you, because I, I think the hauler animals have been working on that. Bringing the stuff into here. That's all what I can assume. Muscle parasites hit at a bad time because I want to do some productive stuff, but we're making progress. Like, I think it's cool that we got these launchers set up. Distance 30. Okay, there you go. 33 tiles. Tells you exactly how many tiles you can get. So, yeah. Let's see. If we wanted to get over to here to, like, attack one of these, will it tell me how many tiles it is? Hmm, I don't know. I, mean, I don't feel like counting. Look at all those chairs. They're so nice. Good, superior, superior, good, normal, good, excellent. Really, only one excellent? I got a guy with a super high skill. Still, only, Are you not set to, to recruit? No, you are. You're just real difficult. You're a son of a bitch. You're a son of a bitch. So I just built these because I wanted to see how they worked. But now I now I know. And the fire foam poppers are uh are they automatic? When touched by fire or triggered by hand, this pops and sprays fire extinguishing foam. How do you pop it by hand? I, I think maybe what if I tested this out? Yeah, there you go. Trigger fire foam. So you can do it by hand. So the next time there's an explosion in my freezer and all my food starts burning, I can deal with it. You know, there's not enough human meat right here to deal with, uh, to do the times four kibble. That's why it's not being used. I was wondering why they weren't doing it. It's because there isn't enough. Eight thousand hay. That is a few. Most of it will go bad before getting eaten, but it's not a big deal. It's cheap. It's easy to get. I'm a little surprised no one's tried coming through here. It's so th The wall's so thin. See a little exposed area in here, so I'm just going to mine that out, see what's there. They have come through here before, which I didn't like, so let's push that. Let's fill that in a little. Nostru? Nah. Oh, they arrived. Alrighty. Uh, I see one person outside. And I see some turrets. One, two, three, four. I see five turrets and one person. So, let's, uh, let's do this smart-like. We go zones, we go animal zones. Tell the, uh, the Mufflo to hang out back here. See, with so many Mufflo, what I could probably do is disassemble a lot of these buildings. Take the blocks with me. And then we go animals. Animal area one. And make sure they're assigned to nobody. Good. And then we gotta work with the people. And let's see here. Talia, Anzo. Okay, there's my sniper. It's like, which one's my, which sniper did I bring? If I could snipe the guy, then there's no issue. Let's see, I want to shoot him. So if I take him out, then, then I don't have to worry about anything else. So everybody else get in here. But we could just have him shoot, shoot out the turrets. Oh, he's coming at me? Oh, that works out for me, actually. Wait, where'd he go? Did he go inside? Some bitch. Oh, nope, there he is. Because all I need to do is kill him, and then I can turn the, the turrets off. All right, he's fucked up. All right, hit him. Hit him again. 
If there's only one guy here, that's gonna be awesome. Taking out, taking out the sandbags. There he is. All right, now we just get, uh, let's see, we do this, claim, they're all mine. They're good. Nobody, t nobody got hit. Claim, claim. Take that, take that. Should have those things on the inside. Good. And now, we're just gonna go like this. Just tell him to take everything apart. And go work. Construction four, so there's nothing else to do. So we'll just have everybody take everything apart and bring all the all the materials with us. Oh, Aslan. Get on it. Take the steel and the components with us. Just take it rip the place to shreds. Beavers. I say, please be let that be on my other other area. I could use the the delicious their delicious meat. Muscle parasites, yeah. Take everything to pieces. We have lots of buffaloes laying around. Item stash opportunity. Shirt, uh, tribal wear, smoke pot belt, shield belt, psychic foil helmet, power armor helmet. Jump to location. That's in the opposite direction. But we can get there if we just send these people back. It'll be good to go. I'm literally just having them disassemble the entire area. Roof collapse. Oh, yeah. Oh, Aslan. I was like, what roof? Right eye crushed. Ooh. Lost an eye. I'll replace it with a bionic eye on the way back. Watish, take those apart. Anything to mine? I doubt it. It's pretty wide open here. Roof collapse, heater. Wait, did I destroy all the items? No, they're okay. I damaged them. I forgot to take the roof off first. Well, let's see. Zone area. Clear. or No roof area. So there's no roofs anywhere. Take all the roofs out. If there's any roofs, get rid of them so you don't get crushed. Shit. Just clicked off the screen. Hopefully that didn't fuck things up. No roofs. Roofs are bad. No roof for anyone. Um, well, you know what we should do is set up some sleeping spots at least. If we're going to stay here for a day or two and really loot the shit out of this place. Eh, it doesn't matter. No sleeping spots. Uh, medical pots. Aslan. Rest until healed. Uh, prioritize treating. There you go. You got your eye bandaged up. It will we'll replace his missing eye when we get back. It's not a big deal. That's a lot of steel, actually. I actually thought for when it said crush, I thought I destroyed all of these neuro trainers, and I was like, oh fuck me. And we'll just let them work on that. Just need, I need like a really strong source of meat. Like all this up here. All these beavers, the muffalo, we'll eat them. Why don't you go eat that fox? Oh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I don't want to go after a cougar. Or a boom rat, or a boomalope. This stuff not been, we haven't taken care of this stuff. It's been deteriorating outside. And we already used all the wood up in here. Colonist needs rescue. Raven, you're okay. Platypus. Uh, you're oh, yeah, everybody's fine. Oh, you're just stoned, that's what happened. But I kind of, I kind of get the people always smoking when they're, um, Porthos needs treatment. Oh, lay down and let, let Watish tend to you. What is Watish at, actually? Medicine six? I was really hoping to be at seven by now. 
So we don't really have any, we don't have our, uh, any, like, soup. well, we have a couple okay constructors here. I actually didn't expect to be able to, choose to have this much stuff to uh, deconstruct. And it might be, uh, this might be complete overkill. I might not be able to carry anywhere near this amount of stuff, but, you know, if I can carry it back, I'll carry it back. It's free stuff. Everybody's racing to take down walls. I could always, instead of deconstructing, I can uninstall. Let's uninstall the turrets. And see if we can just take those, pack those. I think they're like 150 kilograms. Anzo named Muffalo for Vitality after being nuzzled. Yeah, take out these. We're actually almost done here. Okay. Take it all out. I don't know why they're so obsessed with doing like this area. Oh, God. hang on. We got to sweep, guys. We got time. I guess we'll be here for another day because we could take out the floors. And then we'll leave. At least take the steel floors out. Although, I don't know. You know what? Why don't we uh, t check, check this now? So that's right here. So component, component, component. Uh, nope, that stuff's all crap. So steel. Nope. Yeah. So so the steel we max that we we there's you, you, there's even too much steel to take. Um. And I don't see oh because we haven't unpacked cancel that. You know what we haven't done is we haven't actually unpackaged those things yet. And I'd rather have the components than the items. So what if we just uh, just tell them to take these apart? Talia, like right now, so we can get on the move tomorrow morning. First thing, I just want the. I'm I'm more interested in the components than the than the, the machines. So we'll take them apart. We'll get one or two components each, probably. And then we'll go. Yeah, I, 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 I way overestimated how much stuff I could carry. I could have brought more Muffalo, too, to carry more stuff. I'll, I'll keep that in mind in the, for, for, for the future. But we'll, we got to make sure we take the Neuro Trainers. Okay, now we'll go World. We don't need to take the re anything else apart. Reform Caravan Items. Component, component, component. Neuro Trainers. Take, 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 take. Uh, none of this stuff. And then we'll just go Steal. Accept. And enter West Beningrad. And they'll be they'll come on the way back. They'll be on their way first first light in the morning. Uh, the neuro trainers will be very helpful. I'm pretty sure Saber's gonna get that social neuro trainer because he's definitely my best social character. At almost level twelve, that should probably get him up to level like 14, 15, I would imagine. Psychic soul. I don't remember what the rest were, but I'm sure they're useful. They're neuro trainers. They're extremely useful. Fill this out a little bit. Boom. Doug can get on that. He's not doing anything right now. I'm pretty sure I sent most of my janitors because it's filthy in here right now. It's definitely filthy. Yeah, Doug is on it. What is, is he 17? 18. He's all, he's getting up to level 20. He's got to be level 20. Nostru needs to be saved. What? You're sitting there. You're fine. Actually, um, comfort effectiveness, 40%. I haven't actually looked at the other stuff. Like, what is a chair? 30, uh, well, that's. Comfort nine. I, I I think I mixed up comfort and cover. So comfort point oh nine one, oh oh point nine one, and like a uh, I was looking at uh, a chair here. Superior, comfort level point nine six. Okay. Point nine. 
Point nine, those are all the same. Raven, if you need treatment, you gotta go lay down. You know how this works. Muscle parasites suck because they just, I mean, it really, really, really kills your productivity. Well, I almost had a, I think it was this series, I almost had a, a wipe because of muscle parasites just because, no, 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 I think that was actually on the streamed series I was, I've been doing. I almost had a wipe because mu muscle parasites just fucked my colony over. There's just, there was a million and one things to do. Um, raids and people, you know, getting injured and needing medical treatment and all this stuff. And just everybody was working at like 50%. Probably, I would say less than 50% capacity because they get tired twice as fast. So they get about half as much effective work, uh, work time. And then they also, the manipulation's down, movement's down. So they're probably at less than 50, they're probably more at like 40%. All right, how do we? How far do we make it in a day? Oh, they're still moving. So they should make it there tomorrow, no problem. End of day tomorrow, they should be here, unless they get ambushed or something. But we are out of time. Thank you for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you've been enjoying the series. See all of you guys next time.